Hey y'all, it's Pastor Caleb. Hope you're doing well today. Got a fantastic Bible review for you today on an Allen 43 long primer in brown goat skin. Hope you enjoy. So just to give you a couple of stats from BiblesDirect.com, this is where um, I purchased uh, this Bible from. It says the new long primer thin line 43 edition is printed in the Netherlands by Royal Young Blood and bound in the UK in brown Highland goat skin with a generous semi yap and red under gold pages, leather lined in dark brown with gilt line inside three honey gold ribbon markers with presentation pages and family record. In our improved design, dictionary of proper names, subject index, concordance, 32 pages of lined paper, and 16 pages of Oxford maps. It says, printed on the best quality, lightweight, yet highly opaque, 28 GSM Indian paper. Large, crisp, black letter type, 100,000 center column chain references with dates above, three honey gold ribbon markers, red under gold page edges, 16 pages of full color Oxford Bible maps, concordance, subject index, and dictionary of proper names. It says exclusively available in Allen's fine leather bindings. The page size is 18 and 3 quarters by 6 inches. The spine width is 1 and 1 quarter inch thick and the type size is 10 to 11 point large clear print. So the price is around 145 pounds. When I received this Bible from Bibles Direct, it came in the classic Allen box. It says Allen 43 Brown Long Primer Thin Line KJV Reference Bible Brown Highland Goat Skin. So when we get the Bible out of, of the box, it has a it's really nice grain here on the goat skin. Um, as we look at the cover, it does say Holy Bible. And then on the spine, it says Holy Bible, Concordance, and Allen. It does have five tooled ribs here. They're not raised ribs, but they are tooled, done very, very well. Um, this Bible does have a very generous yap, and it almost completely touches and that goes around the entire side um, top bottom and, and the side um, to protect the, the actual text block uh, when we open the Bible up it says down here Highland goatskin um, it does have a nice gilt line completely around um, and this is the first Charfleet edition of Allen that, that I've had um, and you can see the corner work has definitely uh, improved from other editions that I've seen online. So I was pretty pleased with that. Um, this is an edge line Bible to, you know, for sturdiness and just to, you know, hold the text block together. Um, it is Smith's own. Um, you can see the uh, white tail bands at the top and on the bottom. Um, and as you can already tell, it already has three uh, honey gold barrister ribbons. They are uh, double-sided satin um, and these ribbons are extremely long. I appreciate the long ribbons so it's easier to grab and to um, turn and find your pages. Uh, so when we open the Bible, um, it does have a nice leather liner um, in here. Again, it is edge lined. And then when we open up, you have your cardstock paper. Um, and then as you continue on, you get to your presentation page. It's on really, really good paper. So if you do write in this edition uh, on the presentation page, it's not going to smear. It's, it's going to um, take ink very well. Then you have your family record, your children, uh, your marriages, grandchildren as you go on, and then deaths. Um, then you come to your first title page. It says the Holy Bible authorized King James Version, uh, R.L. Allen and Son Publishers, London, Glasgow. Now, when we get to this, um, I started noticing uh, the, the paper of the actual uh, Bible. Um, it's very smooth, I will say that, but then I noticed that with that 28 GSM, it's extremely thin, and when I started turning the pages, I felt that I would have a more high chance probability of maybe ripping the page, turning it. So then we get to you know the license page. Uh, it is printed in the Netherlands by Royal Youngblood, and it says on acid-free paper. Um, so I've just noticed that, that it is really thin um, and then there's you know the letter to, to King James and then you have you know your your names uh, the Old and New Testament books arranged in alphabetical order 
uh, notes of, on the references, and then you get into the actual text um, here in Genesis. This Bible did lay pretty flat on Genesis chapter one, um, which was very encouraging um, when you're trying to read and go through it. Um, this is a verse by verse edition with center column references. As you can see, it does have a nice gold gilt here on the block. And then when you open the Bible up, you can definitely see that really nice red. It's not like a salmon color like a lot of Bibles um, come with today. This is a darker red, just a very beautiful, beautiful, well, well done job, that red under gold. When we get to the book of Revelation, it obviously lays flat um, because there's so much extra references and tools that um, that have been placed in this edition. So it does lay flat in Revelation chapter 22. Uh, when you're done with Revelation 22, it then goes into dictionary of scripture proper names, um, subject index and concordance. These are, these are some tools that you can use. Um, it's got your proper names, subject index. This, this, this print um, is extremely smaller than, than the rest of the Bible. Um, so it's a little harder to see. It is double column. And then we, we come to our, our concordance. It's a good concordance, um, but again, the, the typeface is very small. It's still double column. One thing I really do like about this edition is the Bible maps. Um, these are not on glossy cardstock to where they're going to um, wrinkle and just look really bad after a few times of use. They're on really nice Bible paper, have a, a good feel to them, um, just, just well done. When you get to the end of the maps, then you have this lined paper, um, front and back lined, uh, just really, really nice. Um, I do wish that it was the double column line. I, I, I personally like that better. Um, and then when you get to the end of it, you have a couple more pages of cardstock, and then you get to the back, you can still see that it's this edge line and you have this nice gilt line around it and it says Allen Binding by Charfleet Book Binary. Um, again, the corner work is, is pretty good. Um, I personally like it. I have noticed that on some of the pages of this edition that there's a little bit of bleed through um, with that red, uh, that gilt. Um, so no, nothing to knock it. Um, just a very, very nice edition. Um, very, very good for um, an Allen Charfleet. I've seen many um, comments that, that Charfleet's not as good as Chant or other other binderies or other editions, but I've been very pleased with this. Uh, the only the only thing that I, I personally am not a fan of um, is just the the lightness of the paper, I guess, um, that I just feel like when I'm turning the pages, um, I just feel like I'm going to rip it. I'm not sure if the 53 um, edition or the 63 might have different type of paper, but um, for a 43 thin line, this is a very solid edition. Um, you can definitely preach from it with the verse by verse. You can just read from it. Um, it's just a great edition um, and, it, and it just folds over in your hand and this, this Highland goat skin, um, it just has a great grain to it and it's you know, very unique um, on this edition. Um, you can see that there's a, a little little dot right there um, just from the grain. I don't know if the, the goat got caught on something or, but just very unique, it's very, you know, a personal thing. And this, that, that yap is just extremely generous to protect that block. So if you're interested in an Allen 43 um, in brown, Goat skin, this is a great addition to have. Um, just a very portable Bible. It fits very well in your hand. Um, you can preach from it. Um, you can take it with you. Um, just a very great addition. So I hope you've enjoyed and I hope this helped if you are on, in the market for an Allen 43.